Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. Today we are going to solve the question find in mountain carry. It is a lead code hard and the number for this is 1095. So we have to find an element in the mountain array and we have to return the minimum index of the element. So what is a mountain array? So in this question we are given that a mountain array is a, such an array that its length is definitely greater than 3 and there is an index or an element for which every element on the left hand side of the element is smaller than the element and every element on the right hand side of the ith element is small small so there is a peak in between it is the uh, it can it is the maxima of the entire array global maxima and we are also given that the uh, mountain array which we are given it cannot be accessed directly we have to use the get and the length function which we are defined and we cannot make more than 100 calls because if we make more than 100 calls, we will be given wrong judgment. So, seeing, uh, after seeing this, we definitely know that the left hand side and the right hand side of or the element are sorted. The left hand side is sorted in the ascending order and the right hand side is sorted in the descending order. So, since we have to search in a given space and the space is sorted, so definitely binary search will be applied here. So let's come to the approach. Let's take an example. So we are given in mountain array 1, 5, 10, 20, 15, 5 and 3. So you can see 20 is the peak. All on the left hand side are smaller, right hand side are great, also smaller. And left hand side is sorted in ascending order, right hand side is sorted in descending order. So in this we have to find a target. Now suppose if we are given the target as 20, that is the peak itself. So there can be only one peak in this case. So we will directly return the peak index because if it is the peak, there cannot be any other element with the same value as the peak. Because the condition given in the question are smaller than and not equal to smaller than equal to that's why and coming to the second case if the target is not a peak then then also there are two cases like for example if we give the uh, target as 10 so in this case the target is present only on the one side that is on the left hand side if we keep 20 as the peak element so it is on the left hand side of the array left hand side of the peak but and you have to return the index of the 10 but if you take 5 in this case, then for 5, you have two indexes. That is 1 and 5. So according to the question, we have to return the minimum. So what we have to do is that, first of all, we need to find the peak element in the mountain array. Then what you will do, then you will call binary search on the left hand side and the right hand side. So let's come to the coding section. So the first step uh, will be to find the peak element. So we can write an function to find the peak element. So private end. So this peak uh, takes the mountain area. We define the int left equal to zero and int right equal to mountain array dot length minus one. Now we'll find the peak using the binary search because we know the conditions. First we'll calculate the mid left plus right minus left 
by 2. Now, if there is such a case that mid is greater than the mid plus 1, then we can say that mid may be at a peak, mid may be our peak. We are not sure, but mid may be our peak. We'll put, so we'll shift the right hand pointer to the mid. We are not shifting it to mid minus 1 because mid can also be our peak. Else, if mid is smaller, is smaller than mid plus one, then we can definitely say that mid will never be our peak because it is either smaller or equal to. And according to the conditions, it is always smaller. It is always greater than the left hand side and the right hand side. So we can definitely say left will be mid plus one because in this case mid will not be our peak. And afterwards, we simply turn the left. So, this will be our uh, finding the peak uh, function. So, now we, since we have the peak, what we need to do is that we need to write a binary search for the left hand side and the right hand side. So, for simplifying, we can write a sim simple binary, single binary search with a condition of ascending so that uh, we don't have to write it repetitively. So let us write a uh, binary search for this for the left hand side and the right hand side. First of all, we need to check if there is a, the we are on the left hand side of the peak or we are on the right hand side of the peak. We can check this using a Boolean value and we can check the left and right value. If left is smaller, then we are definitely we want to say we are in the left section. If the right is smaller, then we can say we are in the right hand side of the peak. So, mountain array dot get left if it is smaller than mountain array dot get on the right. Now we can simply apply our binary search logic. Left Calculate the mid. We'll also need uh, to store the mid element for uh, comparisons. So taking the mid element because we want to minimize the number of get calls and if we we'll call every time get in comparisons then we may exceed the 100 calls so that's why we are taking once and checking with the mid element 
so the target is my delivery so what i told simply return the mid otherwise we'll check if we are on the left hand side or we, if we are on the right hand side so this is what the left hand side if we are on the left hand side and the target is greater than the mid element so target is greater then shift the left point if target is smaller shift the right point then if you are in the right hand side and if target is greater than mid element shift the right point else shift the left point simply return minus 1 if uh, mid is not found so this was our binary search uh, function now we need to write this driver function so what we are doing first of all we need to find the uh, peak so peak equal to peak index and pass the mountain array then we need to find the binary search first of all we'll check in the left section because if an element is found on the left hand side it will always be smaller than the element found on the right hand side so first of all we will call the binary search mountain array left uh, target left equal to view and right equal to p if it is find in this if our index is not found is found and then simply return index else return binary search on the left hand side the right hand side mountain array target p comma i think we can give it p plus 1 because we have already passed p there and uh, here we will give mountain array dot length minus 1 so let us check if it run fine so we have So you can see the answer is accepted for the sample test case now run let's run for all the test cases yeah it passes with a good run time and a good space so this was our approach so if we talk about the time complexity is n log n 
because uh, we are performing binary search three times and the space complexity is uh, o of 1 because we are not using any space only the binary search is called two times and the peak index is called one time so this was my solution please do like the video please share it to your friends and please subscribe to my channel guys i need your support and I will post daily solutions like this every day. If you want to take a screenshot of the code, please go ahead. This is the mountain array and the peak index function. And this is the binary search. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day guys.